welcome friends till now we have discussed regarding the finite element method uh, in the in this chapter we have discussed the introductory term uh, we have discussed the shape function we have discussed uh, the met steps for fin uh, solving finite uh, sol solving the structure by finite element analysis uh, after that we have also discussed the elements used in the finite element analysis we have also discussed the approaches used used in the finite element analysis in the last video we have discussed uh, how to find out the shape function for two noded bar element uh, to find out the shape function for uh, two noded bar element okay in this video uh, we'll take one more example on uh, the same that is on shape, shape function and we'll try to uh, find out the shape function for three noded triangular element okay uh, so this is the given uh, triangular element for which we have to find out the shape function so let's start with the uh, consideration that uh, let consider three uh, let's consider three noded uh, bar uh, triangular element uh, with natural coordinates so uh, we have to consider natural coordinates I think we have not discussed about the coordinate system so we'll discuss about this coordinate system or types of coordinate system uh, in this video in the next part okay so uh, let's consider three noted uh, triangular element with natural coordinates l1 l2 l3 at uh, nodes uh, sorry at node 1 one zero zero at node two zero one zero at node three zero zero one so these are the coordinates of point at respective nodes now uh, as uh, that of previous uh, problem will uh, first of all find out the displacement function so in this uh, the generalized displacement function will be like this alpha 1 into l1 alpha 2 into l2 alpha 3 into l3 so uh, again we'll generalize this and we'll write uh, in curly bracket u equal to matrix of l1 l2 l3 and in the uh, in the curly bracket again alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 so we'll name this equation as equation number 1 in the second part again uh, we'll uh, write the displacement function as uh, that of uh, as uh, same as th we have written in the uh, last problem so the displacement function will be uh, u1 u2 u3 equal to 1 0 0 0, uh, 0 1 0 0 0 1 and uh, into the curly uh, curly bracket alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 so again we'll find out value of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 from this equation and we'll substitute this value of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 in equation number 1 so this was our equation 1 so that's why we'll substitute value of this alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 in this equation here okay so um, after uh, substituting the value we'll get this equation so this equation uh, is, is written here now in this equation uh, we'll simplify the right hand side so we know that uh, inverse of identity matrix is again identity matrix and uh, it will be uh, uh, it will not make any effect on the calculation so that's why we have directly uh, simplified uh, written in the simplified form uh, here so we have got L1, uh, matrix of L1, L2, L3 into uh, U1, U2, U3 so again we have written uh, u equal to l1 u1 l2 u3 u2 and l2 l3 u3 we have multiplied this two uh, two matrix matrices so uh, we have got value n1 equal to l1 n2 equal to l2 and n3 equal to l3 so this is our uh, required solution for the triangular element uh, the function which we wanted to find out okay so this is how we'll find out the uh, shape function for triangular element now we'll uh, as i said before we'll see the types of coordinate system the coordinate systems which are used in the finite element analysis are of three types first one is local coordinate system global co coordinate system 
and natural coordinate system so we'll see one by one local coordinate system when for each element uh, in if uh, finite element method a separate coordinate system is used uh, for deriving the element properties it is called local coordinate system now here uh, i have drawn one truss diagram to uh, demonstrate the definition so we can see that uh, in this structure if uh, we are taking coordinate system for every uh, any element for example for this element uh, which is having node 1 and node 2 so for this element we have taken this as a this direction as a y dash direction or uh, vertical reference direction and uh, this uh, x dash direction as a horizontal reference direction and we will uh, find out the coordinates of element according to this this reference axis okay uh, same for uh, the horizontal member that is having node 1 and node 6 so this member uh, is drawn here and in this member we have taken this axis as a y dissection axis uh, so we can clearly see that uh, for this element we have taken this as a reference a vertical reference axis and for this element we have taken this direction as a vertical reference axis so the axis reference axis is changed according to the element each element so we have taken re different reference axis for different element that is what the definition uh, of local coordinate system is so uh, in this coordinate system we will take different refer reference axis for each element and uh, accordingly the coordinates will be uh, different for uh, the coordinate system or the different for each element now we will see global coordinate system the coordinate system uh, is used to define uh, points in the entire structure is called global coordinate system when uh, we are assembling the pro properties of structure at that time we will uh, use only one coordinate system which will uh, which can define any point in the structure so please uh, listen carefully i am saying that uh, when a reference axis can define any point in the structure so at that time this coordinate system will be called as global coordinate system so here we can take uh, example of same uh, truss which i have drawn in the previous example or uh, of local coordinate system so for this structure now we have combinedly taken this as a vertical axis for reference of whole structure and this as a horizontal axis for uh, whole structure so uh, that is why we can locate any point on the structure for this point uh, the reference axis will be same for this point reference axis will be same for this point reference axis will be same in short for all the structure the reference axis is same now we'll see the third natural coordinate system a natural coordinate system is the coordinate system which which permits the specification of point within the element by uh, set of dimension uh, dimensionless number whose magnitude is, uh, never exceeds unity so this is the definition of natural coordinate system which tells us that when we are uh, defining any uh, element or the point in the element with a dimensionless number uh, so at that time uh, the, uh, and one more condition is that the value of that dimensionless number sh uh, should never exceed unity so in this case we will call that uh, coordinate system as natural coordinate system so these are the uh, three types of co coordinate systems which we have discussed now let's revise what we have uh, discussed till now uh, we have discussed the step by step procedure we have discussed the uh, types of element uh, we have also discussed shape function so uh, likewise we have discussed uh, many terms of this uh, unit now uh, the uh, there are only few uh, terms which are it to be discussed
like uh, we have to discuss the uh, analysis of trust member member uh, b member okay so we have to discuss this uh, again i think one more uh, term is left uh, analysis of spring so this these are the only terms which are left to be discussed in this topic so uh, we'll try to discuss it in next lecture so in the next lecture most probability uh, probably uh, will finish the unit so if you have any query regarding the completed portion you can ask me directly uh, if i am uh, forgetting something to discuss uh, so you can directly ask me to make video on that i think according to my uh, knowledge i have completed all the terms in this uh, uh, unit except this if you have any query you can uh, ask me so thank you for this video